Bears have better conditions. and you can be on top. You ain't letting that big one get away. Been casting for one of those. Thanks for selling me your spare. Why, I had that on my radar. I'll be underwater on this purchase, but I want it. It ain't no dead man's chest, but I'll take it. to show you. I know about you. You help people. Well, I, I help people sometimes, yeah. I'll pay you, of course. I can't afford it. This is all mine. Mine and my dad's. Not in the market for a new skirt, but... You know what, sure. Tell me what you need. Okay. But this is just between you and me. Can't let dad find out. Oh, so it's his money you plan on spending. Nonsense. I'm trying to stop Dad's girlfriend from spending his money. Elena. She's got him wrapped around her finger. They've only been together a month and she's gone through his savings already. He's even mortgaged the shop. She has to be stopped or we'll have nothing left. Take this. It's all I have. If this goes any further, she'll kill him. Wait, wait what? Kill him? Like she did several so-called boyfriends before him. All fallen dead shortly after falling for her. Do you have proof? How about four bodies? All her exes except the last one. His name is Josh. Managed to escape her clutches alive. He can tell you all about her, I bet. Find Josh. Ask him. It may be the only way to save my father from his own stupidity. Where can I find Josh? Spends a lot of time at Frank's. Half in the bag. Usually after sunset. But I bet he can prove Elena is a killer. Chances against renegades were pretty good. But now I got the right prices. So sure.
Look for me near the metro sign. I heard the lamps at five. Uh, so they can do their job. Hey. Uh, <laughs> What's the matter? I'm Hugh, and you're the pilgrim who turned on the electricity, right? Word travels fast. Mm -hmm. And word is you you help people. And sometimes. Is that why you called me? I, I need help. My kid went off the water tower earlier and hasn't come back. I'm worried. Uh, how long has he been gone? About six hours now. That's a long time. Wouldn't normally worry. Such a strong kid, built like an ox. But it's been such a long time. Hmm. How old's your son? Does it matter? I just want my kid back. I would take care of it myself, but uh, but there are three young children waiting for me at home. I, I can't leave them unattended. Okay, I'll take a look for you. It's not safe here. Let's meet in my place after you found him. It's down on Lower Dam Promenade. I'm the boss. Yeah, I should send one of the guys. Whoa. Okay, we'll... It's my guardian angel. Guardian angel? If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. On the house, I'm Nicholas. So, how do things work in this place? The fisheye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. Two days and the peacekeepers will take it over or the renegades will blow it up. And nobody blew anything up. 
It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even baddies come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. Tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary, Margarita Rocks. Luan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once and that's it. Game over. So you know Frank well? Not old military buds well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando, a night runner. Quite the high-ranking mucky-muck. Until one mission, he led people into the television tower. Ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye. Took out a new lease on life, but he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. We've replaced them recently. Maybe something cut the cables. But what? It's not like the infected bit through them. It'd take a lot of biters to accomplish that. On the other hand, heard a couple stories like that. About infected who work together. Somehow coordinated. As if they're smarter than we think. Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a trap. He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone, intentionally. They didn't act like a typical mindless swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no, I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we'd see it more often. Could be a blown fuse. Best bet would be to start at the electrical room. So, you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah, get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house food, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. Remember to go there after dark. During the day, it's filled with nasties. Yeah, thanks. Good luck down there. Hey, excuse me, I am. Uh... Hey, mind your manners. Me and the lady are talking. Sometimes I can't sleep. Hey, excuse me, I am. Uh... Hey, mind your manners. Me and the lady are talking. You got a problem? <laughs> yeah, but uh, too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I run a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to them to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. I never came back. I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. 
Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Oh, you're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building, near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. Hey, excuse me, I, uh... Hey, mind your manners. Me and the lady, you're talking. Watch yourself, you hear? Come on, tell me more. She's still safe. How you doing, Aiden? Where's your wife? Aiden, we're about to meet up in the canteen. Join us. Roger. She's still seeing them. Good night, Aiden. Get out and find him, Aiden. Please. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit! Do better! How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dark started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tonsils. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the Commander-in-Chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? A lot of people say this place is dangerous. Well, you don't say. Dangerous? What place isn't dangerous in this town? Our best people are on this mission. You'll be working with Roe. 
He can be a real pain in the ass, but him you can rely on. And you can always get in touch with me. The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. Aiden? I hear Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. You heard... People Sometimes say the night runners are back. I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city, and then this horrible fear overwhelms me. You know what, Josh? I'm looking for him. Buy me a shot. Maybe I'll remember something. First info. Another shot, and you'll be completely worthless. Josh, he gotta be swimming in booze somewhere around here. Either that or fist deep in someone's face. Don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You aren't gonna admit it and dick for brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar, buying me a beer. Go ahead, buy yourself one too. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. You ran across a guy named Josh. It's regular, I hear. Rings a bell. What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. Take care. Hey, your beer. No worries. I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. Try the roof, man. The way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. <laughs> Thanks. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a booze hound. Aiden. Come on, tell me. She's still seeing that. Oh, yeah. Did you hear the PKs are planning to take control of the Okay, one small from the top. Surely you can memorize at least this small section. Aiden, you've been around. Oh, well, Senior Anton. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 